We all go a little mad sometimes. Be afraid. Be very afraid. They're here. jarring without any actual music to yeah i know <laughs> um, happy halloween y'all y'all it's, it's october it's october 3rd it's spooky season you asked me what day it was on october 3rd I don't it's, october it's october 4th october 3rd. Yeah, it's, he's a damn liar <laughs> um so we're back yeah we're in studio number two uh-huh, studio uh-huh. number two we're on location because we can do that now god we love a number two we could record at the top of the spire if we wanted to well, you'd sit on top of it. I am. You'd sit on an upside down stool if you yeah, could. I brought my own, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm Nathan, and yeah, fuck sequels. <laughs> because um, sequels are shit. I'm Lee, and no. <laughs> <laughs> and you're listening to They're, They're Here, Here Podcast. A discussion. A disembowelment. Of all things horror. Fear. Or de macabre. Yo, yo, yeah. dog. Okay, sorry, I have dog. Sorry, yeah, just ignore that, because that was quite rude. I anyway. I'll go pick up. But yeah, we're back. <laughs> we're back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, basically, um, uh, we, we took a brief hiatus. Uh-huh. There was uh, tomfoolery and buffoonery. And yeah, we were pretty upset over 9-11, girl. so we took the month off. Yeah, we took uh, we took a moment. It was a, it's a mi- It's been a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's just the time, but um, we're back. Yeah. So like, kind of with everything like returning to normal, quote unquote normal or whatever. Um. Yeah, we've just been super fucking busy, and we kind of figured like, you know what? Let's take a little bit of time off rather than like stress. Churn- yeah, stress and churn out some kind of like half ass content and stuff. You know. That's true. Like, I think we both kind of thought, like, we're okay, let's do it when we, can, when we can actually do it, rather than, like, do it under weird, extraneous circumstances and shit, you know? I do, I do agree. I definitely agree. I think, um, it's, it's been definitely, I'm about to slam that fucking window, bitch. These dogs. <laughs> yeah, I live in a house with dogs. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, it, it, it's been a minute. It's been a stress. Um, yeah, we, I totally agree. We did not want to... We did not want to churn out some half ass crap for you guys to listen to and then just be upset with us and all of that type of thing. And to those that pointed out the audio quality was not the best last time, uh, we understand and we are working on that. We are right there with you on that. And... Uh, yeah, we're 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 getting on. We're getting there. We're here. We he's there and I'm here, and we're together on that. So yeah, let's get into it. Today we have. Uh, I mean, we, basically what we decide. We have this whole thing where we wanted to. Um, I mean, it's it's fucking Halloween. It's so Halloween month. We, we gotta celebrate. We gotta do a theme. We got we can't. I mean, we can't do Halloween without doing any type of Halloween movies. That would be bullshit. Nah, and I feel like this is kind of, even outside of, Halloween is kind of like in my mind the first thing that pops into my head when I think like, like a Halloween movie. Yeah. Like this is like, there's horror movies and then there's like Halloween movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like this or like. Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, uh, like we do, we have that. Desi- like, we also have a coming down the line for Christmas as well. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, December month, we have a whole Christmas horror movie month. And it's mm-hmm. not just horror movies, it's Christmas horror movies. So it's the same with Halloween. Uh, it would be, it would be, uh, you know, it, it would be horror movies in and based around the, the month of October or Halloween in general. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. that's what we kind of wanted to do for you this month and it's going to be some fun we have some movies lined up and not to mention this month marks our one year anniversary Uh uh we're together one year babe yeah we're gonna mark it with yeah. Something that's gonna make everything come full circle. It's 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 from our uh, first episode to here. There's some really fun things down the line. It's gonna be uh-huh. good. It's gonna be good. We because have. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the next couple of months. We have some other kind of anniversary things. We have some yep. milestone kind of things. We mm-hmm. have some 25th anniversary 
hint, okay, hint. Hint. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Also, <laughs> we'll be like, that'll happen on my birthday weekend. Oh, be pretty fucking God. Cool. You'll finally not be a 24-year-old. I know. I'll still... See, that's the thing that old people don't seem to get. No matter how old I get, I will always be younger. Because that shit can't change. That's predetermined. But you know what? Always, gift... It always makes it sound like... <laughs> it, oh, you always make it sound like I'm absolutely ancient. I'm two years older than you. <laughs> I know. That's the fucking joke, old lady. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why do you ah. think even being the younger twin, I still think you're older? <laughs> oh my god! So fucking joke. Rude. Yeah. Jesus Christ! If I had the soundboard, if I yeah, only if had I the called soundboard. you Tim, it would be a joke because your name isn't Tim. <laughs> <laughs> god. Okay. Okay. We're. Sometimes we're... you really have to put the C in bright lights in comedy, don't you? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are spiraling here. Okay, so basically, <laughs> to get right back on to the point, happy Halloween, motherfuckers. Happy we Halloween. We don't celebrate it one night of the year. We celebrate it all the time because what? We are the weirdos. Actually. Whatever the E is down on. Yeah, I know. Boring Brack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, something like that. Oh my God, have y'all ever had Brack? No, oh my I'm not God. sure from here you haven't. <laughs> um, so picture like a cross between like, like, it's like sourdough brown bread uh-huh. and like raisins and shit yeah it's like a fruit loaf but you put jewellery in it <laughs> <laughs> it's really really good though Brack toasted oh yeah the piece yeah. of butter yeah. yeah oh nice and crispy like just a little bit a little bit yeah. singed oh it's gonna be a little gorgeous like, yeah I was gonna say yeah, yeah, yeah. it's actually kind of more like Christmas pudding uh, yeah it'd be like, more akin to Christmas like pudding Christmas but pudding, drier but closer I'd say, to bread dried. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's so and it's good. a little sweet. It's a little sweet because it's got the raisins in it. It's, it's got, got like cherries, uh, and bread, cherries, so and, and what's the other one thing? Um, like oats and uh, almonds and stuff. No, it's uh, uh, uh they're sun dried. Uh, <coughs> they put them in scones. The little yellow ones. Oh, sultanas. Sultana. No, no, not sultanas. They're little yellow cut out things that like. Oh God. That's not sultana. It looks Is like it's like a yellow I raisin. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh. The nerve of you fully to say no, fully didn't even know. <laughs> I am old. I make sultana bread. Anyway, so yeah, well, I mean, like while we're on the subject, we might as well talk about it. I mean, like the traditions that I say. Oh yeah, sorry. By the way, we are talking about trick or treat here. Trick or treat, yeah. <laughs> um, I I really like this movie because they give like um, two thousand seven, directed by Michael Doherty, of uh-huh, course, uh-huh. legend, icon, and um, based on the short. I think of the of the yeah I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's true, true. Yeah, based on anyway. Um, where we see our like main character, well, not our main character, just our kind of main character, our guide, the mascot kind of... of this movie. Yeah. Like if you were to think of imagery from this movie, it's his little fuck head. Yeah. And I was only realizing last night, I was like, oh, he's dressed up as a a little boy. That's his costume. That's yeah. so cool. I know, but not just like sack head, but it's yeah. like he, like that's his version of like a boy costume. But, like, that's also, like, what I think of uh, when you hear, like, you remember, you know those, like, old, uh, like, Victorian-era costumes mm-hmm. where they're just so Oh, it's, like, paper mache bag head. And, yeah, yeah. Like, all of that kind of stuff. And then it turned into, obviously, black plastic bags <laughs> as capes. <laughs> yeah, we're the, I'm so glad we missed out on that generation where, like, there was, it suddenly went from, like, super handcrafted paper mm. mache, like, like, jack-o'-lantern heads and, like, witches and stuff like that. Yeah. to everything is a black plastic bag I didn't yeah. fucking understand it at all yeah <laughs> Take like it was, three it days a before cheapness it was a costume. total cheapness <laughs> oh my god but give me a black plastic okay but our parents were not the, interested babe. show us the skill I mean come on you can't <laughs> show some skill as in like actually make something with effort or yeah. buy something with you can't effort. just put a plastic a black plastic bag on a black, black on. plastic bag you can't just put one of those on you have to like Belt it at least, like fucking hell. <laughs> belt get, it all the ways. Can we get some core? Right, but make it fashion. Can we take the fucking the thing out of the fucking out of the curtain? Tom Ford, two thousand seven. For real. <laughs> rubber is not a texture. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can we get some rubber man action? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> I actually think I really, really do like the kind of the costume designing in this film, specifically with the quote-unquote monsters, because we yeah. do deal with also like 
uh, other types of monsters that you do do with Halloween because like I mean there's a serial killer in it there is um, uh, you know the the little shithead kids who tried to scare the shit out of mm-hmm. the <laughs> quote unquote dead syndrome girl <laughs> Yeah, for real. I knew a girl that looked exactly like this chick. What's what's your name? Rhonda. Uh, oh no, wait. We can like. Oh, we're not even gonna bleep this. I'm just gonna like, I don't put care. my hand up in front of my thing. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't look exactly like her. Yeah. Um. No, but I gotta give props where props are due. Those, <coughs> those costumes are are those costumes. Uh, the, the amount of effort that was put into set design, into choreography, into all of this type of thing, it was done so, so well. And Sam, at some points, is genuinely scary mm. because he does just, like, he has that sort of, I mean, he's only, like, three foot tall, but, and like, the he has the Michael Myers adorable kind of adorable little Halloween, like, or, like, movie, horror movie villain of yeah. all time. Yeah, yeah, Like, and the thing is, is, like, this is going to sound so tacky, but it's, like, this is a horror movie I know I'd like get a pass in yeah cause he like like nods his head to Ronda or yeah, whatever yeah. like that to be like okay cool chick like you fucking like you like know your shit like yeah. respect to Halloween and like I feel like that's the that's the sin that gets you killed not sex or drugs mm. or alcohol or whatever it is it's do you respect Halloween or not yeah you know cause yeah. it's again it's like it's are playing by a different set of rules it's not just a horror movie it's a halloween movie you know yeah. so there's like the, where there's rules within the exactly, horror exactly there's rules. tradition all yeah. kind of stuff i love that the wife at the start of this movie um she goes to blow out the candles and the husband's like no don't like it's not time like you have to wait until tomorrow or whatever yeah and she's, he's like it's an ancient tradition she's like it's halloween not fucking um what the fuck did she say not hanukkah yeah hanukkah yeah yeah also can we just talk about the fact that um uh, you know, I would get into it later because Sam follows the rules, but also doesn't follow the rules in a way, which kind of irked me. And oh, I was like, oh, that that made sense for the previous kill, but not for this kill because, you know, the rules. But I also thought specifically own, like, just because rules. like um, he looked at um, the the bus driver, the bus driver. Um, I'm gonna say that a few times now. <laughs> um, where he, where Sam gives the old man a pass because he got the chocolate bar, and he's like, "Okay, cool, you're cool. I like you, cool." Then he walks out, and then either Sam allowed the kids that he murdered to yeah. come back, or they just came back of their own volition. It's so treat, it's sort of like up to. Uh, the viewer's interpretation as to whether Sam was the one who brought the kids there or the kids just came by themselves because uh, I love the fact that Sam is not like directly involved no he's, in he's what literally happens just he literally the, like, just watches the spirit of Halloween yeah but like as a little boy you know and mm. he's got like the most adorable again like the costume is like kind of a cool little like slip on if this was a human kid he would have a jack-o'-lantern yeah bag head yeah you know versus yeah. like him having like an actual jack-o'-lantern head and then a human boy costume i don't know why but i always find it so cool i think um saint did that remember on dragula resurrection her costume oh, yeah. was she was like a traditional sheet ghost but like but the monster as, like, was a demon underneath, underneath. Yeah. yeah i like i love that idea of kind of like flipping that because yeah. it's it's so simple it's like and kind it's of unsettling almost as sim- it is because yeah. like it shows there's some sort of like uh, I mean not intelligence as in production design wise because I mean that's production design but it, I like the idea of like a, a spirit or a demon or something trying to mask itself behind mm-hmm. um, the guise of an innocence in a way hiding in plain sight yeah you know it's how like Michael Myers manages to get around in the first two Halloween movies wearing a mask and social distancing since 1976 <laughs> <laughs> for real though it's like I love I love all that like you can tell there were so many times where like production was like oh my god this is gonna be so fucking cool yeah like yeah, where yeah. they would have an idea yeah. um, and kind of I feel like Sam really is kind of the combination of all that also yeah. Sam being short for Samhain yeah Sam, Sam Hain, as they call Sam it in Hain. so many Oof, fucking American girl. movies, always piss me off. I think even in Halloween three, they like Sam Hain. Yeah, yeah, they call it that, and it's like, don't be fucking, girl. don't be fucking rude. Don't be rude. Don't culturally oh, appropriate our with culture. My bag of candy. Oh, gross. <laughs> I feel like we almost should have like 
you know what? I think like over the next month we're gonna keep like we're gonna shit in. on like people <laughs> while telling you what's actually the tradition. Well, yeah, for real. I think like that. Um, that seems like a good route to go. Just like oh yeah, for sure. Cause this whole month is just gonna be Halloween themed. Like next week we have another movie directly tied to Halloween and uh, that takes place around Halloween mm-hmm. and. And such and such. We'll get there. But yeah, I think... um, Spoiler alert. But um, yeah, far be it from two Irish freaks, I guess, to not talk about the actual history of Halloween. Yeah, we would be remiss if we weren't. So Uh I actually do want to talk about some of the fact because these are... Oh, you do? I do. (laughs) I mean, like, I wouldn't be honest if I didn't want to talk about things. Um, So yeah, I do want to talk about like how the traditions are sort of brought up in this film. And it is specifically done with the first couple, which, uh, ironically, if you look at the timeline, which, <laughs> which, <girl. laughs> uh, which if you look at uh, the timeline chronologically, which mm. I have, the couple at the beginning of the film, the woman that dies, the asshole Karen woman yeah, what that heck? dies at the beginning is actually the last person to die. Yeah, like that's the end of the night. Yeah, at the end. Yeah, exactly. At the end of the night. So the first tradition is like we've always known this. We were known as like, um, no, you don't blow out the candle until yeah. it either dies or the pumpkin collapses. Yeah, you let itself. the pumpkin. I was gonna say, yeah, let yeah. the pumpkin rot around the candle because you it's don't bad blow luck. It out. And yeah. like the whole point is like, uh, it's the same with bonfires. They're both the same yeah, idea. Yeah, you gotta Protection number mm-hmm. one. They drive away evil spirits and they attract spirits of uh, deceased relatives that we want to bring mm-hmm. back for the night. And this is all, like, traditional, like, pre-America ever being a country. Mm, Pre-corporate uh, America, thank you. Pre-colonial oh. America. These are, like, actual traditions that have, like... Okay. <laughs> you know, but also, like, how have you only been around for 300 years and you made yeah. so much fucking damage? Yeah. How have you burned such a fucking hole in the planet already? <laughs> fucking English, man. If had them, natives, had them natives been left alone, everything would have been fine. Oh There'd God. be no gun control needed. Um. <laughs> the English, like even the English, turned around and were like, you know what? Nah, we're cool, man. What do you we mean? Nah, know we're, we're cool. It's no, no, half French, half English. No, half but what Spanish. I mean is, like, because they fought, for, <laughs> yeah. they, they fought in the like war of the past. They were like, um, you know what? No, you can keep it. We're cool. We're gonna we'll keep go back all the to tea. Jolly L England. Yeah, we'll keep all the tea. Um. This Industrial is just the revolution. Next, this is just the next half an hour of shitting on the English <laughs> and Americans. <laughs> but, um, no, it's it's really cool that um the traditions are sort of um like how do I explain it? There uh, some people respect them. There's some like, people are not. Yeah. And, like they they get the consequences. Yeah, it's like this is a world in which like Halloween myths and shit like that are true. Mm. But this to me also again um is like a perfect perfect companion piece with Krampus. Yes, because it was directed like, oh, by Michael Doherty as well, and you can tell it really shows. Like, yeah, um, can't and I be think, fun. Like, yeah, for real, I think that these those two movies are kind of like they're in my like head canon now of like seasonal movies that I kind of watch every year. Mm-hmm. Like Krampus is like a good alternative to Gremlins or a good companion piece, you know. Mm. I, think, <coughs> I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, they're very much. Um, I don't know, like uh, like part A and part B type yeah, thing. You know what I mean? Well. And like they're they're great little uh shorts. Like I think you said it before where like if there was uh kids where they had never had like a horror movie or a Halloween movie or things like yeah. that, this would be a great starter position. Yeah, like if I was babysitting on Halloween night, yeah. I would like show the kids like this movie because it's like it's scary enough which I feel like we kind of are like kind of owe to kids Mm -hmm. I feel like when we were younger a lot of stuff that was supposed to scare us actually was scary or like had some kind of like creepiness to it it's like I got like your kid you don't want kids to be scared but like I feel like that's the only reason I can watch so much horror now is because like was was just terrified of stuff as a kid yeah you know it's like you have to let kids like be scared or like find out that scary shit sometimes isn't actually that scary Mm -hmm. you just have to watch it for the next 24 years of your life (laughs) (laughs) 
Millennials, Generation Y, a one defining trait is a numbness to <laughs> to the world, <laughs> desensitized to everything. Yeah, man, um, the afraid other of words, you know, I wasn't afraid of anything. Afraid of <laughs> the other traditions that I really liked the fact that was brought up was obviously the the werewolf uh uh girls mm-hmm. they said like every time it's like when anna packard's character turns around which by the way right on the nose laurie literally i know i but just like, this movie is actually filled it's like filled it's like someone like going in a horror movie and they're staying in a hotel and it's room 237 yeah. I'm like, girl, it's right on the nose. I'm staying in the Kubrick Hotel. Yeah. You know, something like that. You know yeah. what I mean? So, like, uh, but but anyway, that aside, which was kind of, like, one of my only gripes with the movie, I was like, you could have done it in a more subtle way if you wanted to name someone Laurie. I don't know um, how much more subtle you could be, though. You know <laughs> what I mean? And But she's dressed as Red Riding Hood. Like, fucking yeah, that's her. also on the nose as well. And I love the fact that uh, the her older sister... That is dressed as Cinderella. Yeah. Um, they all say it's like, why do I have to go in a costume? And she said, because it's tradition. It's tradition. Yeah. We have to do this. And again, there's another thing that draws Sam in as well because yeah. she doesn't want to dress up in the first place. So that draws Sam to her. Mm. And then when she finally gets into the mood, and then I mean, like, goes full werewolf, blah blah blah. Yeah. Like Sam's just sitting there, like, yeah. I was cool. obsessed We're cool. with that fucking scene as a kid, just because like. I don't know what Sam it, them yeah the fucking the Marilyn Manson you. like yeah, Sea Dreams great. cover and like I'm almost certain that this is like where I heard that cover first uh-huh. I think this came out in like 2007 or something I would have been like like literally like a kid yeah. or whatever but it's like the design where it's like they just chuck off the skin yeah it's like the boots um, and the skin come yeah, at the same time yeah. did you notice that like they were a one piece and then I remember it, this is gonna it so does look very rubbery though that's the only con I, know, I have but with I, it I kind of loved it it like, literally looks like the skin is like, is like this thick oh it is for yeah. sure but it's like yeah like the boot is like a one piece with the leg yeah, and it's kind yeah, of yeah. like not even seamed up the back like they kind of like do you remember Polly Pocket do you remember the yeah. clothes that, yeah the clothes that you could just like <laughs> slip on and off like yeah. they didn't ever zip up anything <laughs> but like oh, I thought this was so cool when I was younger like just this montage of like all these women just like ripping their skin off and or there's like, like one chick dressed as like, a cheerleader her, like, yeah she, I was gonna say shit. she has pigtails she's the cheerleader yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she like like pulls out the bow and yeah. then like pulls everything apart but like yeah. I always find this kind of route for werewolf transformation really cool uh-huh. like, do you remember in I think it was Van Helsing uh, where he oh, just yeah. kind of like he like He's rips like away at ripping him himself flesh. away yeah and then like because that's also traditional werewolf um, werewolf lore and that, like, skinwalker yeah it's that earlier. you've been like it's that like the fur is just on the other side of your skin yeah like you don't just it's become another through. thing yeah you yeah. are that underneath kind of off, at base level at mm-hmm. all times I love that yeah you know, that's how they used to find out if people were werewolves or not. They would cut you open and see if you have fur on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the oh. other tradition I really, really was interested in was, um, um, not Mr. Wilkins. Uh, what's his name? The bus driver. Uh, no, the, the principal. Was oh, the yeah, fact uh, that Principal it, Wilkins. Oh, there's, a, there's another... Um, Halloween tradition always check yeah. the candy I was going to say but I love the fact that like he gets a pass because he's keeping up with the tradition yeah, yeah. of like trick or treat yeah. you know give more kids uh, onions dipped in caramel oh my god yeah well seriously though it's like you literally came to my door asking for a trick or treat here's fucking trick or treat yeah here's a literal treat or something I don't fucking know anthrax yeah kind of hot <laughs> soup or whatever but, yeah <laughs> a cup of coffee do you remember when like you used to live <laughs> you Live used to kids oh. sorry <laughs> no that's cruel pants the queen makes babies the babies the queen needs food the queen makes babies um yeah it's um <laughs> so just in thinking face back anyone? to yeah <laughs> <laughs> just thinking back to our episode with the creature feature month with the um <laughs> the gender neutral them oh god yeah queen makes food the queen needs babies <laughs> <laughs> oh oh. God. um yeah side note <laughs> but anyway uh i always thought that was really kind of like the scariest part of this film because it does talk to um at, at the beginning there's a news thing where it says like 
others to show off some people to blend in yeah yeah and i always thought like that was, those are the two kind of quintessential types of people on halloween uh, i was gonna say he also like ends us. up being so cringy though because he ends up being the dude who keeps the mask on the whole time yeah and it's like i know he's walking around being like i'm so fucking real yeah he's walking around and i actually really like his like vampire mask design, i think it's cool because cool, the yeah. nose is like is like flat on it yeah like it, kind of, like it obscures his face in like a really cool way yeah that like kind of tucks under the chin it's not just like a boring mask or whatever um the teeth are really irking me though i do not know of any teeth that will like unless they are unless fucking they really like, good dentures i was gonna say they have to be like there's grills. no way like yeah, yeah that's, like, that's yeah. like dental acrylic or something yeah because he was able to bite girls with it on that just doesn't you know? yeah because like every time i see that i look at it and imagine like as soon as he gnaws into it the teeth are gonna slip uh, forward uh, or something yeah. and he would be talking about a lisp all night you yeah know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end fucking um snow white just like snatches them out and i love how like mm. i love how these costumes like Stephen these girls Wilkins. costumes were like pushed name? to the very limit of like what is and isn't copyright Oh, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like if Snow White had had some white between the red and the blue, it uh-huh. would have been uh, copywritten. And um, if Cinderella had <laughs> kept the like the black choker on all night and like the gloves, it would have been copyright. But yeah. she's just princess in blue dress with yeah. updo. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I always love that about costumes when you go to the store and it's oh not God, Tarzan, yeah. it's Jungle Man. Or, yeah. or like, it's like it's not Hellraiser, it's um S and M demon. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's always something like it's always some stupid <laughs> shit like that. It's not Harley Quinn, it's the Joker's girl. Yeah. Or whatever yeah. the fuck, you know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things about Halloween, though, is like seeing those, like, whatever names they can come up with for yeah. shit like that. You yeah. Know? It's <laughs> hilarious. I think it's great. It's, it's, it's not mermaid, it's woman on top. <laughs> <laughs> the inventive ways people will go through to the lengths <laughs> to, like, you know, like, literally. And also the ones who actually are branded uh, uh, and trademarked and things yeah. like that are also way more expensive than the actual, the thing, like, uncopyrighted those ones. Those girls, and, like, for some reason, like, I find this movie, like, everybody in it is actually very, like, enjoyable, even when they're being shitty. Yeah, but, like, there's a lot of assholes I, in this movie. I really like that group of girls for some reason i don't know why but they're I think, relatable like, they're relatable and it's kind of like i don't know i guess like that's the kind of shit we would do on halloween it was yes like, I, I i wouldn't leave my costume until last minute but it's like <gasps> that annoyed the are, shit out of me 8 p.m they say it on the news right it's 8 p.m on halloween night there's not gonna be any fucking costumes left there's gonna be no pumpkins that dude is not gonna finish work in time for you to fucking like party with to him. fuck him it's halloween yeah night. yeah like what the fuck um but for some reason i really liked when she kind of went up and she like like they're all wearing their costumes they're not going to bring them home they're just going to wear them straight out of the store or whatever yeah. and she like has the tag and he just like swipes it while she's wearing it and he's like that'll be 287 blah 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 and, like, she just spent, like 300 quid <laughs> on a fucking cinderella costume that she knows for a fact she's just gonna rip off yeah. later yeah <laughs> But it's like, <laughs> it's like corsetry and shit. Like, these are not like... Yeah, they're not just like the pull out of the bag Yeah, dresses. it's not plastic boning. It's yeah. not a shake and go. It's, it's an like somebody had to lace her up into yeah. it and do her hair in the changing room or whatever. And the little boy that's peeping on them Love is that. the little boy that plays uh, Sam. Yes, it yeah. is true, yeah. But he's also, so did you see him now? He's like in his, I want to say mid-twenties I want to know what he looks like <laughs> I want to know what Sam looks like <laughs> but I always think it's really really funny um, like the fact that it's fairly obvious what they are trying to do I mean like essentially it, they're just known they're, they're, they're these innocent girls um, who are just trying to get laid but the funny thing is that it turns around that it's a hunting party uh, because I mean obviously they haven't been werewolves but it turns around p- to be a hunting party it's the and flip on the little red wer- or yeah. on the little red werewolf on the little red riding hood thing the we're little like, red werewolf we're yes like, <laughs> <laughs> we're like she ends up being the wolf i love it like mm-hmm. i love it so much but like the reveal of that is so fucking cool and um, i love that I we didn't just skipped really... out that couple at the start because i'm like like fuck them i feel like that's the least interesting thing yeah <laughs> oh no but, we'll um, come back to it i, I have shit to say i have shit to say about that bitch <sighs> I guess, but um, <laughs> I did not like the CGI. I loved the 
physical werewolves oh, yeah. that they have. The actual like there's particles the all over this movie. Yeah. Like the, I liked the dark really eye, uh, the dark eyeliner. I liked the yellow eyes, oh, the sharp teeth. Do you mean teeth. on the on the girls? On yeah, the, on the girls. I, they they always do this shot in a movie, or at least they kind of used to, where she's like bent over him, and like the way we find out who it's she is time. and who he is and stuff like that. Um, the girls are just kind of like partying or whatever like that, yeah. and then we see something in a red, like in her red cloak, just mm-hmm. like be thrown onto the floor. I thought he had no limbs because it didn't so did make I, sense looked, to me. Yeah, it like, looked like a. Yeah, it looked like a head and like a piece of a torso. A stump, but yeah. I guess like he's, he's there. I guess whatever. Yeah, um, I think his leg is broken or something. Or oh, his the arm leg is broken. a compound fracture. The oh, bone yeah. is outside of the skin. <laughs> I love it so much. But he didn't even like notice until he started to try and like run away. Uh-huh. But this is kind of the first instance in the movie where we get two of the stories like tying up together. Yeah. So we find out that it's Principal Wilkins dressed mm-hmm. as a vampire. Um, and we saw him earlier attack a girl who decides to become Helen from I Know What You Did Last Summer. And I, I actually did think this was really interesting, though, because she ran out and she was like, oh, my God, help me. And then but everybody around her looks like her. The couple are like, she's like, or yeah, the chick who's dressed as a robot, the chick who dies at the start or whatever like that, is like, uh, gross. Yeah, and, and he's like, she she's to, drunk. Yeah, yeah and yeah. like, which I, I get you kind of think you that. You kind of Because yeah. she turns around and there's people with like prosthetics all over them to look super bloody. Mm-hmm. But then she just stands there. She doesn't like go out into the middle of the street or whatever like that. Yeah. She literally stays right by where it's she like she literally from. just accepts her fate of, uh, for no fucking reason. Yeah. yeah. Like, it was like, what's that scene? Oh, God. It's where uh, she gets into an alleyway. And then the, is it? I know what you did last summer. It's that's Sarah yeah, Geller. it's literally yeah. that. Yeah, um, I except like she actually stupid. like keeps running. Yeah. Um, but with this, then he like he bites her or whatever like that. Um, and then he just like lays her on the side of the street yeah. up against like five or six other really really drunk people. Yeah. Because she's just like covered in blood. But like I'm like that's actually really smart. Yeah. Like I love when they do something like that in a movie where it's like damn nobody would believe her. Mm. But also don't be fucking stupid. Make a scene. <laughs> make a fucking scene it's that's Halloween that's one thing it's like people in movies are always too afraid of smashing some windows or like making a fucking you know making a show of themselves insurance I'd rather be a lady <laughs> I'm alive though now <laughs> you know oh no I totally agree I also like this is exactly what I was talking about earlier is when uh, like what the news agent says about some people to stick out others to blend in and like that's exactly what he is doing is he's using that to his benefit and he's blending in with everybody and then he literally just walks away as if nothing happened what a bad guy he left his kid at home on Halloween on Halloween on Halloween and that kid is like old enough to like I know that that kid is a serial killer but like I mean you left him alone (laughs) the yeah. fuck what kind this of a shitty kid. adult are you I, I don't like, forget to help me with the eyes know, what a fucking asshole bro <laughs> also I already fucking said yes what does he say why don't Benny you shut the fuck up language I know he's like um, <laughs> he's like go watch Charlie Brown and then we'll have it he's Charlie, like, Charlie Brown's Brown an, an asshole, asshole. <laughs> yeah and then he goes cute. full adult like yeah. full like 50 year old dad is like Charlie Wilkins. Oh, I love it though. But also, like, I know <laughs> while that he's that is, fully like... killing like a ten-year-old in a bag. Yeah, but there's like there's another body in there also. It's um, what there's a kid dressed like a clown that we don't actually see. We only see the arm. Yeah, and he's kind of just like Beating he's talking to the neighbor, but like absentmindedly, kind of just like <clears throat> yeah, like, just kick <laughs> like just kicking the the face and chin of this little kid. Holy shit, bro! And he has. Kind of a sit down with the fat kid from Bad Santa. A uh, Bad Santa, yeah. yeah. Yeah, And it's the whole. He's like Charlie. That's not very good for your diabetes or whatever like that. Because he's the principal. Like, oh, that's how all the kids know him yeah. and stuff. Um, and I remember when I first watched this, I was like, oh, there's gonna be like razor blades or something like that in the in the, yeah. the seats. Or whatever. Which does come up because that's another Halloween. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. That's legend. kind of like layered all over. Yeah, this. yeah. That's very American. I feel razor blades and the apples oh, yeah. we got into that in our last episode in Candyman uh-huh. that's how that iteration of Candyman came to be that iteration of Candyman yeah. was razor blades and candy and stuff in like candy that, you yeah. know? and it wasn't even him I know but it was also, like oh, people were kids were still dying yeah, <laughs> I got asked last night that I want to watch it on a discord and I was like 
no I actually don't want to watch that movie again <laughs> Maybe Sorry, we'll do it in Costa. two or three years and just give it a bigger kind of in-depth dive. I mean, yeah. I mean, I did say I liked Halloween 2018 only after two or three more viewings. I never, I didn't actually like it on the first thing. But um, <laughs> I'm not going to waste any more of my life on Candyman. So, um, <laughs> I say like I haven't spent the last two weeks embroidering that fucking shadow yeah. puppet, you know. But, um, yeah, this little fat kid just like throws chocolate up every chunks. place and when i say so chunks good. it's like it's not just oh. one i think he throws up like three or four times oh, there's and a it bunch gets of times bigger and like guts. and it just like spills from from like uh because they're sitting on the porch yeah and it just spills from yeah, step to step and like oh my god the smell the smell because it, it's, it's just brown oh my god the sound is so good because it's so like gurgle. it's so like gurgly yeah. and like that like guttural sound yeah but um yeah, when you know your guts place. are just twisting themselves yeah, yeah. and yeah. what is it was it um it was on the it was on the kitchen table when he walks in uh what he used uh cyanide he's yeah cyanide. Has, he uses uh, cyanide. cyanide trioxin or whatever like that. Yeah, yeah yeah um there's a bunch of like wando little details like that that i really mm-hmm. like like i think they're the, just kind of sprinkled throughout the movie yeah or just like random little like nods to other movies and stuff like that like i get laurie is like kind of obvious but mm-hmm. like i mean i don't know what I do feel you like you ha- yeah, yeah i feel like you have to do something like that but i think the the neighbor or the principal is watching the original haunting or um hill house it's um, um uh the principal uh, yeah. it's, no sorry it's not the principal it's the principal's kid who's watching it yeah it's the yeah, scene yeah. where uh, Nell uh, hangs herself or whatever and everybody finds her and stuff and then swaps to oh fuck I was supposed to take note of that he like swaps over and there's like another like thing playing. there's another there's a cartoon Halloween movie oh it's that plays Scooby, in... it's a Scooby Doo movie it's yes Scooby Doo uh, and like Horror uh, Island or Zombie uh, Island or whatever Zombie right? Island yes yeah, yeah. my favourite by the way loved out of those three movies I would totally loved review that it. one day no joke oh yeah those totally Scooby Doo movies back in the day were actually kind of lit they're hilarious yeah I mean, they're hilarious I love that love the the, the chilly scenes they're just hilarious skin like just glows like nuclear red it's hilarious um yeah, I don't forget to, to help bring out the eyes. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they make this fucking kid's head into a jack o' lantern. That's so cool. I would love to have seen that as like the last shot of the movie. We like the kid kind just of like get to see that in Halloween 2018. A human head made into a jack o' lantern. I know, but like I would have liked to have seen it. Because the kid the is like um Dressed sitting. As the dad. Yeah, and it's he's so like cute. handing out candy. So I love that like, he also had to add doing. that. Yeah. They had to add the whole like uh, the blood on the side. Oh, but like right in the middle of all this shit happening, um, because it's Halloween night, there's trick or treaters. So he like comes to the door, just covered in blood. But they're like, "Oh my god, nice costume." Yeah. You know, it's like <gasps> people can get away with stuff like that yeah. on Halloween. I was just thinking of the. <laughs> what did we just see there? We just saw Mrs. Wilkins dress Miss something or other dressed as the cat. Dr- yeah. Coach Stevens dressed as a hot dog. Fucking bear. Fucking. Butt fucking butt a pig. Fucking a pig. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, well, it's a total teachers, swingers party. I love that. I, that must be complicated in work if like all the teachers are fucking. Yeah. On Halloween night, yeah. this is also one of those weird movie towns that gives like Christmas level fucks Isn't about it Halloween. Perfect. Uh, you want to drink? She's like literally trying to get these kids clapped. But then when they say no, she's kind of like, wow. <laughs> she's like offended by the fact that these kids <laughs> won't take it and this girl's Halloween like angel costume I love that fat cherub face mask I love the I fat cherub cool. face mask hate but I everything hate else. the wings yeah I'm like okay it's a white a turtle white neck. turtleneck <laughs> is not a costume is not an angel costume does not an angel costume make <laughs> no I don't fuck with that but um so yeah th- th- this is where we kind of get to like I, I was gonna say like ground level mm-hmm. this is where we get to like um like on on the actual like streets and stuff like that we mm. get to like be with trick-or-treaters and stuff because so far everything has been kind of isolated as its own separate like vignette you know mm. so like i really really love the storyline with uh ronda the retard and like the rest <laughs> of the kids because i'm like i was so her when i was a kid like obsessed with yeah. like the idea of Halloween, not made just, her like, own costume. Yeah, all that. Can I just say, all like that is a fantasy. Yeah, 
of mine is having a garden uh, steps uh, leading up to a porch and stacked. just stacked with yeah. pumpkins. Do you remember that scene in um, uh, Hocus Pocus mm-hmm. where um, they walk by That's that house? That's basically this town. Gorge. They give so much of a fuck about Halloween in this yeah. town. Everybody is dressed I love up, it. like even the I want to live there. Shit. Yeah, for real. Like that sounds like that whole the whole month of October would be one big massive fucking party, and I love it. I fucking love it. Which I remember October being as a kid. I remember like October first. I was like, it's Halloween. Yeah. You know, I feel like um, I don't know. I'm not super down with the kids anymore, but like, um, I feel like kids don't give as much of a shit about Halloween anymore. No, like Halloween, um, to me, Halloween to me was like the main event. I think specifically with um, Kovivi, um, yeah. that Kovivi, like anything to do with Kovivi, my Catholic. What a fucking idiot, bro! <laughs> um, when like Bukit Beppo, <laughs> I, I want my like, coffee fix. That thing he did, <laughs> I showed that to Emma, and it creeped her out. <laughs> yeah. Shout out, Emma. We love you. Um, congratulations on your engagement. Yeah. Woo-hoo! Love you. Gays being gay, you know. Gays being gays. God. Gay girls gender, kissing man. girls. Yeah. She <laughs> liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Um, no. Uh, there's my stutter. Specifically with, uh, I think, COVID happening. I think... Uh, Again, like that's that whole thing of going to another person's house, taking something from yeah, I them. I get that. No, no, but, but I, I, I don't think it's the main reason. But yeah. I do think it's, it's a very big contributing factor, especially yeah. with the last two years. And I do think prior to that, well, especially been one in, Halloween, we've only had one Halloween, um, especially in my parents' house with COVID. Like I noticed, like the amount of kids that come around when I was doing because I had to yeah. do door duty. And I remember, I call it door duty. Well, that um, to me is also very traditional Halloween. It's like, if I'm not going to do anything on Halloween, you're going to do, do the, the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I can still get dressed up and I yeah. can still see all the Halloween. And, and still it's fun. And it's fun to like, it's like, and what are you dressed up as? And yeah. All I that kind of, it's very fun. It's hilarious. Or like, um, I, I always try and scare the shit out of the kids though. Because yeah. I'm like, that's the shit I remember from being a kid was adults who made the effort yeah. at the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. It was just fun. Like, even if it was just a dark coat and a witch's hat. It's it was more effort than nothing. Yeah, keep yourself you know? backlit or whatever was, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And I loved it. And I thought it was good. But I did notice that... <laughs> that is a huge spike in the volume there. I'm just looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I did notice, like, over the last few years that uh, when I was doing door duty that I would notice that there was less and less and less. And I think that's where... Um, I th- like maybe it's just like less people interested in That's bringing their bullshit. kids around. It's like, where's or... that jump off? Because, like, our generation is obsessed, obsessed. with Halloween. I trick or treated until I was about 15, of... 16. Like, I, straight in. I trick or treated until like a sinful age. Like, yeah, like, probably about that as well. <laughs> yeah. but, like, trick or treated. <laughs> Confess. Uh, only stuff because people, like, wouldn't give us shit anymore yeah, because yeah, yeah, we were yeah. grown ups. Yeah. But, like, I've dressed up for every single Halloween that I've ever been alive for. Yeah. You know, even if I didn't go out, it's fucking Halloween. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it's also like, uh, what was it, who is it that said that Halloween, it was, it was some gay guy, and he turns around and he goes like, I think I know Hall- him. Halloween is, the, <laughs> Halloween is the one of the year where everyone puts in a little effort to be just it's as ru- fabulous. Uh, by some gay guy, you mean RuPaul. Was it? No, yeah, RuPaul he, doesn't say it that. It was, where he was like, it's one fucking night a year. <laughs> but it is it's like I don't understand people who are I understand being kind of bar humbug about Christmas because Christmas yeah. is kind of depressing it can be um, yeah. and Christmas is also just stressful but it's like Halloween is like just it's literally just fun yeah and like even even like there's no real Halloween, planning it's just go have fun the only requirement is you dress up yeah that's the only requirement and you if you're older have, you get drunk have... if you're younger get candy exactly and it doesn't have to be super elaborate you know fucking paper mache a, a pumpkin head and there's your whole costume yeah or a pair of dungarees and something and, and, you know? and, a, and, a, and a hoodie and you're good black nail polish on the teeth you know um yeah. razor blades in the eyes it's just something <laughs> <laughs> just hot, hot soup in the bag uh, yeah. <laughs> girl let the hot soup go <laughs> trick or treat no acid um, <laughs> oh my god boiling water 
Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, we're getting dark now. <laughs> yeah, trick or treat now. Here's a hot piece of metal. <laughs> Here's a ball of copper I've heated until it's gone night. <laughs> Just goes straight through the back. <laughs> Immediately <laughs> sets fire to the costume. Yeah. Because of the <laughs> Whatever though, no, for real. People need to um like consider the the trick part in trick or treat because that's literally the entire point. It's not supposed yes, to be. Yes, I. That's where I would totally agree with you. It's like it's always trick. Uh, it's always trick or treat, but all, everyone goes for treat, not trick. Yeah. So like, I like I the fact that pizza. someone literally like would turn around and be like, "Okay, here's the treat. I'm gonna I mean, turn around and I've got like." you know a, 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 a demon growing out of the back <coughs> of my head oh was it Edward Lord Drake or whatever no I was gonna say malignant okay okay just so you Do know what's funny is we didn't even make an episode about that movie because I was <laughs> pissed <laughs> terrible movie I was so ang- and the thing is <laughs> and the whole ninja scene with the police station oh, it was hilarious it was, it was terrible because they tried to make a bad movie yeah do you yeah. know what I mean you don't try to make a bad movie you try no. to make a movie and then Real, it becomes the, a bad the movie the best thing about shitty like cheap grindhouse exploitation shitty horror movies is that all those people thought they were doing a good job this is Michael Doherty at the Bijou Theatre where a man has <laughs> gone crazy and killing people after seeing a horror movie double feature. That was Bam, <laughs> I love that video clip. It's so cool. But like, damn. Like, the reason why Basket Case and Sleepaway Camp are, are, are quote-unquote bad is not because they were trying, but because they tried really hard. Yeah. And this is what they got. Yeah. You know, versus James Wan. You can't make a... A James Wan can't mean to, can't no. make a bad horror movie. Well, it's I mean, like, like when I say a bad horror movie, an intentional bad horror movie. Yeah. You can't do that. Like, it's not lame. It's just, I also find it's it just bad. boring. It is. It, it totally really is. Boring. I guessed, uh, this is a total off tangent, by the way, but I guessed what was happening. Yeah. I think about maybe 20 minutes into the movie, and I was like, oh, of course, like, this is fucking it. Because, like, it's literally. If you watch the uh, the opening credits close enough, it's literally fucking spelled out for you. The only spoiler the I had thing. was, because um, I didn't watch a single trailer, I didn't like read any of that shit, because I was really looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, it was James Wan coming back to horror, so like everyone was like, fuck yeah. The only thing I saw was the the nurse from South Park with the, do you remember the, the, the fetus on the side of her head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, it was literally just that picture with like malignant spoilers and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but damn that movie was bad it um, really was I think James Wan is um, a hack I'm, I'm joking <laughs> I feel like um, I don't know his horror never like super grabbed me I uh, yeah no I uh, mean like there's the I, conjuring and shit like that but like that's you that see, only that's, exists because of other movies that's where I I would disagree with you I think the conjuring at least the first two I like those two terrible, movies terrible um, were great because James Wan knows how to make a jump scare successful, even if it's only based solely based off as a jump scare. And uh, no, don't James get Wan me wrong. Has to recreate shots from other movies, well, I'll give him that. True. Don't get Which me is not wrong. a knock. I really, really enjoyed that first yeah. Conjuring movie. And it's a great idea. I yeah. love those sort of like the opening, yeah, like, the opening credits. Oh, it's this it's beautiful. It's I was beautiful. Like, yes. Yeah. I love We're it. tangent St. James Lavery here. <laughs> Don't like, wow. Whatever. Before we got Jean Paul Gaultier. I was never a big Saw fan. <laughs> Van <Like>. Cartier. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the Halloween School Bus Massacre. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> if we must. So, like, this, honestly. Apart from the last part, which is uh, uh, the the bus driver and mm. Sam, which is honestly, my, I think, my favorite part of the yeah. film. Played um, by original Hannibal Lecter. What? Yeah. Um, Brian Cox. Brian Cox. That's the yeah. guy who plays um, Hannibal Lecter in Manhunter before Anthony um, Hopkins. Wow. He's the original Hannibal Lecter. Sorry. Great. But nobody remembers that. Because no one's interested in it. <laughs> but anyway. Except for us who do our research. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna scowl at me like <laughs> while lying like a French girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, my uh, this is like one of those things. Like again, it's one of those Halloween traditions. You tell a scary story. Yeah. And you try to spook someone. Mm-hmm. That's another Halloween tradition. And again, the, uh, because it's not being done successfully, again, it draws Sam 
into the situation yeah so like i love the fact that no matter what way it's <laughs> no matter what way it's sliced sam is always whether it's good intentions or bad intentions it, it draws sam into the situation yeah and then because he's there like shit goes down and whether it goes towards a proper tradition or yeah. not he's he's sort of like the final say if that makes sense yeah i was gonna say like whether or not he's there is the determining factor on whether or not you're going to have it like a supernatural experience on yes. or not. Yeah. That's why like not everybody runs into werewolves or whatever it is. Or, or zombies. Like, or it's vampires. like people who are um, evoke in tradition. And they talk about it a lot. It's like this movie is, I feel like that's why I think we both thought that this was a really good choice. Because mm-hmm. this movie is like, if anything, about tradition. Yes. You know, and like why Well, it's, it's said very quickly kind of by the principle. Tradition. Like he yeah. says, like that this night is all about tradition. It's about people honoring those histories, those traditions. That mm-hmm. that uh, he even says, like they were started to protect us, but nowadays people don't care or something like that. It's a, I I literally remember last night. I watched this as soon as I came home. I remember last night being like, I care. Yeah, you know, I give a shit about Halloween. I yeah, I like I have fucking year round Halloween decorations in my room. You know, it's like I think Halloween is like, um. It's like the night of the year for like, I was gonna the say people like, the year. but like for like us and our friend group and shit like that. I feel like above <clears> anything <throat> was like, okay, what are we doing Halloween? Yeah, you know, because like Christmas you do all that shit with your family, like whatever and blah blah blah. But it's like Halloween is like Halloween is your friends. Halloween is the one. Yeah, you know, and it's like I generally I don't always plan for Halloween. I tend to everything I do. I just sort of always kind of fall into i feel like, like that's the best thing always now. kind of happens you know what i'm saying it, yeah it's like new year's it's like one of those things where it's like something will be on yeah like i'll yeah. figure something out someone will have a party or someone's got an idea to go to this pub or someone's yeah. you know what i mean it's but it's Dublin that is opening up on october 22nd the yeah, clubs and everything are opening it is great it's <clears> like, <throat> like literally what we've like waited for yeah the whole and time. i have booked that entire weekend off bitch so yeah same ready to go uh-huh. you know what I'm saying so um, but I'm anyway school bus it. school bus massacre yeah. so this is what we were talking about earlier Rhonda who is the retarded witch Rhonda um, <laughs> you have Schrader or Schrader or whatever the hell is. you got that little yeah. pirate kid You've got the. I love the the braces, the alien head. Kid. I, I love think that's it. a hilarious costume. I, was like, I want that. I was like, wait, are they part of the? Are they part of the costume? The train track braces? Yeah, that, like <laughs> that literally even, come around outside. Say, the they don't even seem to be like connected to the mouth. teeth. At yeah, all. they're just on the outside. <laughs> but I love that costume. The, the like the huge like alien head on the like with the yeah. cloak that like covers the head. And there's a kid on the bus actually who had like a devil costume that was very yes. similar and i was like that's kind of like I, it's something about it gave me like real like satanic vibes because i was yeah. like the, or do you know exactly what vibes it gave me do you remember in t- what is it Ten Thousand bc yes you know the like the yeah, yeah, the whatever? The, yeah. yeah uh-huh. like the deity or whatever like uh-huh. that like with a really really long tall yeah. body with that that's an ancient top. alien theory i as well, actually which really, I really like that i movie. live for that i, I think it's, it's terrible but i love it Oh no, though I feel like it was terrible because it was made in like two thousand and six. Yeah. If they made that movie now <laughs> and let like with not whitewashing everyone and let like Ridley Scott or something do it. Actually, no, don't let Ridley Scott do it. I saw yeah. Exodus. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great visuals in that movie, actually. Um, again, Why is it tangent. so hard for Hollywood to remember that Egyptians weren't white. British? <laughs> and white. Yeah. Or ancient Egyptians weren't. Actually, male. come to think of it, what's her name? Gal Gadot is going to be going to be playing Cleopatra. Makes sense because she's not Egyptian. I love it. Yeah, I think it's a great but idea. But that she makes the most sense though. Yeah, it's like what she's she was Greek or something. No, like that. she's from or like Macedonian. Uh, or something. No, she's from Israel. Well, there you go. Yeah, like she, like fucking, she wasn't a fucking Egyptian, you know. So she's supposed to be like Gal Gadot has that kind of like like a like drawing of a beautiful woman face yeah if you turned her to the side that's the profile that would be on a coin i was gonna say, i yeah, was yeah, literally yeah, yeah. yeah i was literally yeah. just gonna say uh so anyway. this movie yeah <laughs> tangent st <Saint> james <laughs> delacroix can't help it van cartier the girl uh, can't help it <laughs> gin <laughs> um so this uh like whole thing again as i said was like uh <laughs> going like right back to like where it started yeah. <laughs> 
They're basically like telling the scary story because that's a tradition on Halloween. You scare people by telling people scary stories around a yeah. campfire or some shit. Uh, but basically, the um, all of these kids on the bus back in, I think it's what, like the 50s or something like that. And I love the fact that most yeah. of the uh, costumes are like those vintage costumes. Those are the costumes that we were talking about, like Stockhead. Like Sam would fit in with these. Kids. Yes, like if he was on that bus, he'd like be totally like one of them. Yeah, without a doubt. That's because... what I Sam's costume is. It's not just like a stock thing. It's literally like BB pajamas. Yeah, it's like, like it's orange on... onesie. I know it's because it had the butt like flap a, on with it. The tire. Yeah, the yeah. butt flap on it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's not just like a thing. Yeah, so like this guy is this bus driver is basically like driving them. He was supposed to drive them home, but the parents paid him off to take him to the quarry and drown them. Basically, that was his idea, yeah. and like Sam is also present in yeah. that in that flashback. He is I there. Love that image though. It's like they're driving past, and like this movie is pumpkin field in the back. It's a pumpkin field with yeah. a scarecrow with a pumpkin hat on it. Yes, this little kid just on the side of the road picking up a, a dead crow yeah I love it and like, the way uh, like the, the color grading is everything is like really really oddly it's like yeah. real orange orange brown. browns yeah. I love that cream tones yeah, yeah love it god damn it I fucking love oh, autumn for real. Great. October just like gets me hard <laughs> gets your gets your dick wet yeah, yeah. I love it <laughs> October. Oh, God, yeah. October. All Hallows Eve. Canonically, October. Samhain. Oh, no. Canonically, October Literally is. Literally, dick dies at the word <laughs> Samhain. Canonically, October is wet. <laughs> and also on Halloween, it always fucking rains during the daytime. Yeah. It never rains at nighttime when shit goes and down that's how you get that like it's... mist yeah. and it's all yeah. foggy and oh, shit like that god like, do you remember that one Halloween where it was fog I love all that beautiful yeah, loved it real. oh I wanted that and this time this this year Halloween falls on a Sunday uh, Sunday uh -huh. I thought it was a Saturday no mm -mm. Uh, interesting and I don't work Mondays so great so yeah um, basically he uh, <laughs> the which by the way the vampire kid can I just say the mask that the vampire kid I had mm -hmm. that mask I fucking had that mask I remember that shit vividly and it smelled bad oh no I rubbery obsessed plastic smell with the smell of like the inside of a latex Halloween mask Ew. that to me like reminds me so much of childhood and to me like it's uh, this is gonna sound so stupid. I like know what the inside of like a green mask smells like. Does that make sense? Like I love oh. that smell of like rubber and like latex and stuff like. Cause it just it makes me think of childhood, or it makes me think of wearing like plastic masks and stuff like that. They were also like really bad for you. So I was drinking. And eating well, candy no, like and getting this was like the, this was driver. back at the time where you wore a hard plastic mask that yeah. if you wore it in the wrong way could like cut your cheek. Oh yeah, because it's not like a mask that like wraps around. It's like it's, it's like, like it's like a, a relatively flat, flat and then it's piece a piece of string. Of, yeah, yeah. Oh, but it's the piece of string that would like, like snap and like, yeah. cut your ear or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like the mask comes to like where your top lip yeah. meets, like the the head portion of a ventriloquist dummy and then your chin is the like flappy yeah. part you yeah. know god and damn he's it he's like home I want to go home oh he's yeah like, oh. Like, he's it, a he very heavy handy knows. or heavy handed like disabled kid well, they, no they weren't they, they, this was like these were troubled kids like he says yeah. these were kids that were like causing a lot of problems so I'm like guessing like these are the like they were fucking chained so yeah. like uh, what no, my, but that was uh, my takeaway was the fact. There. No, my my interpretation of that was the fact that they were like like Michael Myers as a kid. Oh like, no, I didn't take it. That was my that. interpretation of that. I took it at that bus was very short. Let's just say we all know what short bus is a synonym for. Oh my um, god! And the, and the kid kept saying like home, home or whatever. Like and he that. was counting. He was at the beginning, like when he he came up to like the stop before he turns in the wrong direction. Yeah. He was counting each of the house numbers. Yeah. So like he knows exactly where he's meant to be going to get home. And one of the kids is just uh, is just a giant. One <laughs> of the kids is huge. Yeah. Like at the end when we see the picture. Um, cause I was like, oh, it's a big kid, whatever. And then at the end where we kind of like wrap up and see that, um, 
this guy we were seeing the whole time in the movie was actually the bus driver. Yeah. There's a mask. There's a kid that's standing next to him with the mask. And the mask is, like, this big. Yeah. It's huge. <laughs> it looks like he's standing next to, like, King Shark or something. Like, he looks fucking <laughs> crazy. I do think it's, uh, it is rather scary. And it is sad. It is a sad. Oh, it's uh, very, very sad. Kind of. Uh, it's so upsetting. So upsetting. So upsetting. So, like, uh, it is a very hard kind of watch uh to 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 have that scene play out because like immediately you know what's going to happen yeah and uh, obviously the inevitable does happen and they all die in the but in it's the pretty gourd. i love how the actual scene is shot it's like um he's going around like making sure everybody is kind of chained in and um also just fully didn't do the job at all if one kid is able to just like slip the fuck out of these like yeah or whatever but he's gone around and like it's weird he's still kind of upholding tradition and he's like candy. he's giving them all a piece of candy not consensually because they didn't ask for it <laughs> um and then <laughs> that one kid dracula or whatever like that um like drives the fucking the bus off the cliff into the quarry yeah but the shot is like it's quiet it goes over there's and then no it's quiet. sound yeah there's yeah. no you don't hear it like hit the water or anything but then you go you look down and, and again, it's already submerged <laughs> it's already submerged but like in this shot like all the orange and brown and yellow is all like turned up really yeah. high and like the water is like black and it's just it's really Murky really pretty and yeah yeah it's gorgeous. a gorgeous movie yeah. but i do think it's great vengeance which is why i was talking about earlier is the fact that the kids show up at the bus driver's door and... sometimes they come back yeah, yeah. <laughs> but again i was always thinking was like was that sam's intention or was that the kids just coming back to get their revenge you know what i'm saying well, yeah, I think like it that wouldn't have happened if Sam wasn't around. But I think that that's Sam's yeah. I think way. he's a catalyst for it. I don't think he's yeah. often the cause of it. No, but I think like I like in my mind, supernatural shit can't happen without him being there. Yes. So like, I think in my way, it's Sam's way of being like, ha, ha trick or treat, <laughs> got yeah. you. Yeah, you know what I mean, like it is a trick because like he he feels like oh this man survives too much because he had his Achilles tendon sliced oh. and then that only mattered for a couple of seconds and then he was up and walking around yeah and then he fell down collapses down the stairs that was covered in glass, glass and razor needles, blades and razor all that blades. shit and then he looks yeah. at his hand and like I, I oh. I'm not I'm not a, like a I'm not freaked out by gore at all but for some reason I was like there is so many tiny little shards, shards of glass all yeah. over this man and I was like how is like how do you even begin like I was like, oh, if you run it under the sink, like, I know what that would feel like. That's just, just the, like, salty, oh. burning. Yeah. And he goes to, like, oh. try and open the door. And, and he can't. can't. Oh. But then, like, two minutes later, he's just grabbing onto stuff again. Yeah, like, yeah, the glass yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. And him and Sam come to, like, <laughs> some kind of cute little understanding, you know? But it's, like, if... if you just celebrate Halloween correctly. Yeah, it's just hard. do it. All don't need... fuck the Irish over more than the world already has <laughs> England but um <laughs> all you gotta do is carve a hole in a pumpkin and put like some form of costume on yeah it's not hard have a fire in the back garden yeah I mean dance around it naked if you have to I mean just uphold it's ancient pagan traditions I yeah. mean like we've been doing it for millennials millennia before I mean I remember I was there you, you know, we've been doing it for millennia before Christianity ever fucking walked the earth, before Christ ever walked the earth. Why didn't it work now? I love that, though, genuinely, that Halloween predates Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I think it's amazing. Like, I think you made the argument there the other day where it was like, like, the sun was literally the giver and taker of all life on this planet. Why wouldn't we worship it? I was going like to say, it yeah, makes, it total makes sense, sense to worship, like, yeah. uh, the sea. To, yeah, the, to worship the, the, nature. It's nature, like, that's yeah. That's the shit that we, like, have for sustenance. Yeah. yeah. We just do it in a share wig with an axe and a big barrel of ale. Oh! <laughs> yeah. No, seriously. Oh, God, like, I stuff the orchards! <laughs> <laughs> it just, it makes so much sense to worship things like the sun. If you don't know what whatever. we're talking about, go look up our Wicker Man Link in retrospective. Our, uh, yeah, think of the, the description below. <laughs> So yeah, I think um, yeah. I oh uh, by the way, this is something that I really did want to talk about was the fact that um these people, a lot of people in this, a lot of people in these movies, especially Michael Doherty's movies, a lot of them are incredibly unlikable. 
Like, yeah. a lot of them are just plain assholes for the sake of being an asshole. Like, yeah. you're one at the beginning when she was like, oh, it was such a magical night. I'm so great. Like, it's fucking Halloween, not fucking Hanukkah. And then Why did you decorate your Hanukkah. house like this? You know, Why did you like fucking Halloween? do all of this? Because they were good. I was like, like but that's a her great fucking garden. garden. I was like, there's like 40 scarecrows in her garden. Yeah. Now, who has this many sheets? Yeah. All ghosts. <laughs> that's suspicious. Yeah. I don't, I don't I mean, people with the that many white special, sheets. Girl, I don't trust They're that. the couple that lead like porn in the background. He's like, also dressed up as like a dungeon master. Yeah. Oh, She's yeah, dressed sweetie, up why as, don't we go a, as a robot. box robot and a dungeon master. I'd like that's actually something that also irked me. Either he made that costume or she put in the effort and she complained about it afterwards. Oh, he totally made I'm it. Like, he's, such a, he's a Halloween kid. Yeah, yeah. You Plus, like, tell. also, he does correct her. He's like, it's ancient tradition. Yeah. Like, you know, you don't blow it out. And it's like, it, this night's fucking over and she, like, and stamps thing, it out. If she didn't do that, she'd survive. She, she would have survived. Lived. Yeah. Like, for real. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry, we just, I think we skipped past the quarry part there. We kind of got past the thing, but like the quarry scene with all the, the kids. Oh, with the zombies, yeah. I, the zombie kids. I loved it. Scary. Like, again, I love Rhonda in this movie. I Rhonda. think she's like, I don't know why, I, I think name. she's like Rhonda with a H. Yeah. You know? Um, <laughs> but like, I don't know, Rhonda is like, she's the one, maybe besides Sam in this movie, that I just want to like, I would totally want to hung out with her. Yeah. Like, she's like just a nerd who's wearing a wig um sorry it like really distracted me <laughs> wow i could feel <laughs> i could feel that eye roll from here bitch and I'm wearing sunglasses jesus christ you didn't even need to show me with the, you have sunglasses on and i could feel that eye roll you could see them come out glass to glass. <laughs> you ever see that scene from who Framed roger rabbit that was you but it was an eye roll ow i just stabbed <laughs> the shit out of myself <laughs> Karma. How? <laughs> Love yeah, it. Rhonda is like she's dressed up as like traditional Halloween witch. Like mm. the all like she was like missing dress. was the fake plastic nose with the war. I'm not a witch. That. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she looked like one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she turned me into a newt. <laughs> a newt. I got newt. better. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's Mildred like, Hubble. <laughs> Like, I feel so bad for her, and I also, like... Totally understand why she did what she did. Yeah, yeah. fuck those fucking kids. Yeah, no, they were pricks. You know, they like, gave they... her very much so, like, no reason to trust them again. Yeah. And I, I like, I felt bad because one of them was actually, tra- like, being nice to her. Yeah, the, the guy. But in order to trick her, so, like, it wasn't yeah. actually nice at all. Yeah. You know, he's like, oh, she's scared out of her mind, and it's like, you did that, though. Yeah. You brought her yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And he tries to take the high road with uh, the other one, who's just who's just like comes as uh, comes across as the bitch character. Yeah, in, in oh, that like scene. Meredith or whatever. Like, yeah, the angel. The, the angel. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, he, but you're you're a dickhead. Yeah, like, you're you one did of it. three people that made this happen. Oh, and God. The, other, the little pirate kid. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I got the impression that he wasn't kind of like part of their group yeah like yeah, i feel yeah. like oh well no he would have had to have been because yeah, he's like in on the whole thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's like kind of significantly younger than all of them like he was like like a little kid yeah like yeah, he might have yeah. been like a little brother or something like that yeah but they go to the thing they're like they're collecting and we kind of see pumpkins these, like, yeah and she says it's for you <laughs> yeah he's like i think for <laughs> good cause fuck do yeah. they want, do, what the fuck does you need what fucking pumpkins to me that actually makes so much more sense though where it's like um like can we have your pumpkins versus like just going around smashing shit or just True. throwing shit yeah because like i and if I you're also that prick it, that went around on halloween smashing pumpkins go fuck yourself literally like, die has, in a hole like wait until the next day because then people will let you smash their pumpkins true you but know? they still have to clean it up though yeah but you figure out a place to go do it you don't do it like where you got it no you, you like, see I don't mind the idea of TPing or throwing oh, eggs or knickknacking or shit like that. I will kill you if you throw toilet paper at my house. <laughs> I will but set you on I fire will... in your sleep if you throw <laughs> eggs at my house. I will draw the line at like smashing pumpkins because that shit is hard to clean up. Not a big up. fan now. <laughs> I will say I that shit is hard to clean up. Yeah, uh, it takes forever to clean up all the crap. And then if you don't get most of it, it starts to fucking smell and, and it, it starts to flies. rot. It attracts flies, yeah, rats, everything. So go fuck yourself yeah. if you were ever one of those kids. I like the idea. <laughs> That's rant done. <laughs> I do like the idea that they're like going around the neighborhood and kind of um, 
like collecting them for tradition in a weird yes. way even yes. though like I was, I was like you can't use Halloween to be mean yeah. you know what I mean for some yeah. reason I was like oh you can't do that on Halloween it's but in Halloween. Hall- I, Halloween movies past it's always been a tradition to be mean on Halloween I know and then always. look where it gets people I mean like uh, uh, w- w- Lonnie w- and all them fucking kids in yeah. Halloween <gasps> Like, Which, by the way, I know you haven't watched any trailers. But uh, like, don't fucking tell I'm not, me. I'm not. Don't. I'm not. But la la no. la la. I'm not listening. No, but god damn it, like the the trailers. I literally have my ears in, so you can't fucking say. Oh, and you're gonna have to edit this. I'm gonna have to okay, edit it. Okay, no, okay, it's grand. It's grand. We'll get to it, and like we'll get to it when we get to it. Okay, look, we might as well fucking say it. We're gonna we're gonna fucking uh, review uh, Halloween Kills. I'm so, so fucking hyped. I'm so fucking so hyped. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking great. Fucking hyped. Yeah. It's but um, so yeah, they go around, they collect all these fucking all these pumpkins and stuff like that, and the I, I feel bad that I'm only gonna refer to him as the fat kid, but the the fat you kid from a name. from five times, <laughs> yeah, you know the the kid that threw up all the chocolate earlier or whatever. Yeah. Um, they even mention him. He's like, they're like, oh yeah, no, some kid like went around their whole neighborhood and like was smashing a bunch. So yeah. They can only find three, and that's how they get Rhonda. Like as we said earlier, it's like Rhonda is like. The, the the Tim Burton fan she's got a night before Christmas pencil case you know she's got <laughs> that sounds like a why does it I sound had like a, a night before um, Christmas bag why does it sound like a Panic at the Disco song title <laughs> 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 she's got a night before Christmas pencil case like they always put some fucking lot of obnoxious ass <laughs> fucking thing um, with like an exclamation point like, or whatever what I fucking did yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like a bad Jeffree Star. Oh god, <laughs> that w- that's such a good song though. It is. It's Actually, nice. I give it back. We're, we're not falling in love, love. We're, we're just falling apart. apart. Oh, we're gonna dance the night away. <laughs> this is how the week goes. Pulled over at a stoplight, did drugs on the dashboard. Look like at the, the mess, mess we made, made tonight. tonight. <laughs> Take off your stiletto. Oh yeah. Fuck me in the back seat. Fuck me in the back seat. Yeah. Okay, sorry, we can't. <laughs> oh, tangent St. James. Actually, Love I'm it. Sad. That's the Halloween playlist. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> it's not on Spotify though, which is kind of a, uh, a pain in the dick. But, oh god. So they bring Rhonda to this quarry where everything was kind of happening. And um, they like, they play a good prank on Sorry, her. Sorry, the top? Oh, sorry. I'm waiting for it. No, I can't. <laughs> no, okay, okay. <laughs> You do uh, them intentionally than unintentionally. <laughs> I know. It's like more embarrassing when I do it unintentionally. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Rhonda is scared out of her brains because they like literally like uh, within the space of like yeah, quick change. seconds. Yeah. Also, like, that where, was, did like, they, where did they pull it out of? Yes. They like, pull the it out and then they reveal. put on like prosthetics and get in the water and everything. Like they like crawl out of the water. Like, you would have had to, like, been lying there for a while for the water to be that fucking still. Yeah. And then suddenly, like, bleh, grab her ankle or something. But some it was shit. kind of a cool reveal, though. They get onto this, like, so it's a rock quarry, and there's, like, this, like, um, like an elevator kind of thing. It's, like, a elevator with, like, no, like, external anything to it. Yeah, you can only use it using the, the key. Yeah, That's and the it's, like, um, you can use it. it's tiny, so they can only have, like, three people at a time. So, like, the original three kids go down. But I love uh, when Rhonda and the other little pirate kid, and Rhonda is so nice. She's so sweet. She's like, I like your eye patch. Like, she, like, gives him, like, a little rundown of uh, Halloween, and she, like, uh, lists, like, different names for it and stuff. Mm-hmm. She, like, she calls it out Samhain and, um, like, All Hallows Eve and all that kind of stuff. And then she's like, I like your eye patch. And it's like, oh, mm. She's just, like... She's trying to be good. Yeah, she's, she's just, like, nice. a sweet little kid or whatever. Yeah. And they're like, what a fucking... <laughs> um, but as they're going down we see these like the other three kids they're pumpkin like they're just yeah, extinguished yeah. I always yeah. love something like that they did the same thing in Game of Thrones uh, where the Dothraki are running towards um, oh yeah the army the, of the, the dead Winterfell. Yeah, yeah, and yeah all yeah. the lights just go out I yeah. thought that was so cool but um, episode. they fuck they fuck her up yeah. it's so rude she's like practically like uh having a full on mental breakdown yeah she's like, like in front of trigger as fuck on the yeah. floor um, she just can't like mentally handle it no. at all and also she gets knocked out yeah she like they back her up <gasps> yeah. into a corner and she falls and like falls into water and like hits her head and stuff yeah. and honestly fuck them kids I would have yeah, liked them no, there too yeah I would have been the exact same like yeah just let those zombie kids yeah. rise up out of the dead and eat 
Did they eat them or just tear them apart? Oh, they ripped them, them. I remember, yeah, I remember that very vividly from the first time I watched this. Where I was like, oh my god, like you can just hear them get like, and it's not just like a, it's like you can hear like, like, like somebody like ripping open bags of like liquid and just having mm. it spill everywhere and yeah. like you could it like the sound of like bones twisting apart yeah. and it's so good but like I love that Rhonda's like stay in here stay around the candles because like don't let they'll them go out they'll protect you, you. and I'm yeah. like oh she's just a sweet little witch mm-hmm. you know and then they do protect her in the end you know yeah. she gets back in the elevator and the real zombies come and like rip them apart and she's like well fuck you guys I guess and like well, seriously, it's like she... I wouldn't have believed them uh-huh. either, you know? And, yeah, she gets away. And you know, and her and Sam have a little, like... Nod. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? It was kind of cool. Sam was like, you know what? You're all right. You're cool. Yeah. Thank you. Because she also had... She still had pumpkins with her, you know? Yeah. It's like a little, like... Ah, she knows what's up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, uh, like, uh, like pumpkins, <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's so gross <laughs> so like kind of like one of the last things I wanted to talk about was the timeline of this film so uh-huh. I've done my homework and I put A to B and C to D and blah 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 mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. if you put it chronologically how everyone um, uh, con- congregates in the kind of like the last minute and a half yeah. where um, he the driver is handing out candy the kid is on the porch Rhonda has obviously just left because she still only has the two pumpkins in her um, her her red wagon so yeah. she's come back from the kids who've just been murdered uh, all the girls are in the car and uh, the and we get a timeline shot of the girls with the news van they're hooking up with the two dudes yes from that report yeah that report that it was 8 p.m mm-hmm. and principal wilkins was watching that yeah even though he was on the street out of costume yeah. when charlie was walking past yeah. but i oh know actually that would have been at like the very so top of the night the <gasps> way i no. see it is the first date. thing to happen the first thing yeah. to happen at the beginning of the night was uh, Principal Wilkins returning from getting more candy. So that's the first thing that happens in the night. Oh, that's why we see him on that's the street. That's why we see okay. him. Okay, yeah. So then, the next thing to happen we also see chronologically the girls costume. is the girls yeah. showing up. They get their costumes. Because they pass Charlie in the street yeah. in regular clothes. Yeah. Then, um, the kids, if you put it together chronologically, the kids are going around collecting the pumpkins. After and then Charlie. they get Rhonda. Yeah, because he then he's Principal the Wilkins the has uh, kills Charlie. Yeah, 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 he kills the fat kid. Sorry, but yeah, so that happens. But that's what then, he he's always going to be the then, fat kid for Bad Santa. Um, at the same time, the girls are currently meeting up with their dates. Yeah, at, uh, in they're the getting woods. costumed like as Charlie is dying. Yeah, and then they link up. Yeah, because the the angel like the the three like bully kids. They're at Principal Wilkins' door. Yes. Just as just Charlie as has died, died as yeah. he's been brought in. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was so actually then, how they did all that. How it works is because he then goes out to the back garden to bury the body. Yeah. When and you see Oh yeah, that I forgot the that. bus driver is attacked by Sam at I the same love time. That. Meaning that Sam technically has yeah. been in multiple places at the same time. Which I give him kind of a pass for because yeah, he's, he's like a, a supernatural spirit. spirit. Yeah. yeah. So meaning that at the same time as Sam is attacking um, uh, the bus driver, mm. he is present for the kids getting ripped apart while Rhonda walks away. Uh-huh. So those two things happen simultaneously. Then the, um, the girls uh, go all werewolf and mm. eat their dates and um uh, uh and Rhonda retur- is returning home yeah so they the the girls uh driving by obviously stopping to let Rhonda pass across the street they cross paths then they sh- they move on Rhonda goes home yeah the kid is left on the porch doing what his dad should have been doing at the end of the night and uh, the uh, as I said, like the couple at the beginning 
who we think are the first to die, they're actually the last to die. Yeah, it's in like the, the very chronological end of the night. order. Yeah. So when you see um the bus driver watching Sam, who is watching the couple, yeah, that's the very end of the night. So I, yeah, that's I how that all of that like and then those kids together from the quarry show up. And at the very after yeah uh, like actually that happens, no because while happens, sam is murdering I was gonna her say, that happens, the kids show up yeah at i was the gonna door. say those happen kind of like at the same time like they kind of cross each other out yeah yeah but um that's a really good kill though for mm-hmm. her because she's like i don't know why i remembered it as she's like her head it's is just gone, her head and because her arm is up on the tree yes yeah like yeah so she's like there are hers. she's severed in different places yeah it's not yeah, like yeah, rips yeah. her apart and like it's um again it's like a very specific brand of horror where it's like it could be it's scary but it's also like fun yeah 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 you know that's it's why a fun I think, like yeah, exactly yeah. that's why i think i would show these to like this movie to like my little brother and sister because it's like it's it's scary it's a but also introduction yeah but yeah. also you can kind of like ha 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 like you can kind of like mm. try to demonstrate what a laugh sounded like there sorry <laughs> um yeah you can kind of like laugh and like brush it off but i also love <laughs> i thought it was hilarious that when the kids um that's your uh, impression of finding it hilarious yeah uh, <laughs> so like <laughs> so um <coughs> when the kids are like she's got the sheet on her and sam is attacking her yeah and she's down on the ground and sam like slits her throat open with the with the, 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 with the candy and thing. i know exactly what that tastes like a good orange halloween lollipop yeah, yeah. oh and I love the fact that um, the kids run away and then you just hear the grunting of Sam going, yeah. yeah. He's just dragging her back in. I think that's hilarious. I think that's hilarious. I really liked that as an opening kill though. And it was yeah. kind of... Um, and it leads into like the comic like opening. Yeah, again, thing, this is yeah. kind of like... Um, this movie is like weirdly cult. I feel like not as much now as it was kind of when it came out. Because it was like... Um, if you knew you knew yeah and there was kind of yeah. a comic series like to I'm almost certain it was released like alongside mm-hmm. like hype for this was built up about like comic con and stuff yeah because it was supposed to be kind of I don't want to say like indie but it was like kind of a small thing I think like the the intention was to have it become kind of a small little cult movie true true because you know? I like like Halloween is like a very small and kind of sparse subgenre for horror movies yeah and this, I think, like, it's, see, it's weird. I feel like Halloween actually has nothing to do with Halloween. Yeah. It, besides for the fact that it just happens on Halloween. Yeah. You know, we don't even really get trick or treaters until, like, the second movie in twenty eighteen. You know, but this movie is like, on the top of my list for like Halloween movies. Yeah. Because it gets into just it it's into full on just quintessential Halloween. Yeah, and I, I think it was word. the perfect one for us to start off with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A lot of fun. It's the start of my, of our Halloween season. I love Halloween. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's we great. were literally only just talking about our costumes and shit like that, like right before we started recording. Yeah, so much fun. It's okay. gonna be good. We're gonna have some good fun. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you look uh, like in brown face. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Don't even start. It's oh not brown god. face. It's El Brown face. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> next week, what do we got? Uh, another very kind of Halloweeny movie. We have Sleepy Hollow. Fuck me. This Actually, I don't know how. Ex- oh no, it definitely it definitely takes place like on Halloween. There's pumpkins all over that. Place. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's also like a carved pumpkin head at the beginning of the first kill. Yeah, the yeah. headless horse. Oh, oh god, I love great. that yeah. movie. It's a uh, without jumping too far ahead. It's the that scene with under the floorboards scared yeah. the shit out of me yeah. as a kid traumatized my ass mm. but yeah so we're gonna it. have a lot of fucking fun this uh-huh. month we are gonna have some frightful fucking scares and we have some big announcements so make sure to watch uh, keep watch over the Instagram so some good stuff coming down the line we're uh-huh. all super excited for that so yeah, yeah. hopefully uh-huh. we'll have uh, some announcements for you over the next few days so keep listening <sighs> Keep a looking and uh, don't need to yawn out loud. God, maybe you shouldn't just fucking breathe then. It's like fucking ten hell. in the morning. Also, can you like people? not cough? Also, please, Jesus fucking Christ. Also, so but, 
Oh, roll back the tape. Look at the material. You cough like three times. Once. That. Once. So, that was once. That's an exaggeration. Okay, and it was loud enough for either of us to oh remember it. Okay? Okay. okay? okay? I coughed into this heart shaped pillow over here. <laughs> Cough so, in my own house? How dare I? <laughs> the gall. The gumption. The audacity. <laughs> oh my god. So Drag Race also. Or uh, UK. Oh my god. Can you not? It's so good this season. Charity Case. Sorry, I just want to shout out. I haven't She's... watched. So? Yeah. Thank what? you. What? It's yeah. not a spoiler for saying one queen's name. Why don't you get ahead of the times, week three? Charity <laughs> Case is, uh, she's very much so a horror queen. Love it. It's gorgeous. And Dragula. Okay, Dragula, I think. Dragula, season four, yeah. Yeah, Dragula season four is starting this month. I am so fucking excited. It's the middle of October, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it comes out Halloween, uh, the same day as Halloween, October 15th. Love it. Yeah. Love it. I don't know. Maybe we'll maybe we'll talk about it in some way, shape, or form. We'll talk about maybe it. Maybe eventually. It's coming. It's down the line. Uh-huh. We're on the way. So maybe you've next been... Pride or something. <laughs> next Pride. So you've been listening to They're yeah. Here podcast. Back in studio. Uh-huh. <laughs> so make sure to like, subscribe, all that jazz. You know the usual. Comment below what you want to hear next. Uh, if you have any ideas, comments everything you want us to know tag us subscribe mm-hmm. make sure to follow us on our instagram page for some daily updated content those opinions don't matter till next month though <laughs> <laughs> the schedule is predetermined this month <laughs> all right well that's it and unpleasant dreams oh my god wait elvira came out oh yeah since the last time yeah elvira go you dying. elvira fucking delighted for Have you live your 20, truth girl live your truth 20 years she's been in a relationship with and no one knew. That is how you keep your shit secret. Yeah, man. Good for you. Live your life, girl. Live your truth. Happy for you. And happy Halloween. And happy Halloween. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs>